Hi guys, it is username Kate and welcome back to my channel. So today I've stolen the ground space outside of MC Hub in Darwin. It's a parts, accessories and clothing shop. They're great guys, they always look after me and I just needed a space to film and they gracefully said that I could film outside of their shop which is ace so the walk round that i'm going to be filming today is on a bike that i have been itching to get my hands on and i've finally got my hands on it i rode it here and oh my sweet jesus it is an absolute rocket quite literally it is the triumph rocket 3r and oh my goodness what a machine so guys typical format i'm going to take you through the specification of the bike i'm going to sit on the bike so you guys can see what it is like from a seat height perspective i'm also going to try and push it around but it is a bit of a brute so we'll see how i get on there and then i'm going to do my new section where i give you an indication of how much this thing would cost if i insured it on the road so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, stick around, stay tuned, and without further ado, I'm gonna crack on. Okay guys, so here she is in all her glory. Just look at that absolute beast. So one of the reasons why I've been super excited to get on this bike is because of that right there. It's in effect a 2.5 litre bike. It's an inline three cylinder bike, so it is a triple. So this Rocket 3R is Triumph's big muscle roadster bike. It's one of those bikes where there's kind of not really much out there that's like it. I suppose the closest you could say would be the Ducati Diavel. But what sets this apart is the specs that it has. Now it pumps out a whopping 165 brake horsepower, which is impressive in itself, but really the impressive thing is the torque specification. This bike produces 221 newton meters of torque, which is the torquiest production bike in existence. So the color that this Rocket 3R is, is a silver iced cranberry red and this color option on this bike costs 20,800 pounds so there's a few things that I should mention about this bike it is 40 kilograms lighter than the previous generation of Triumph Rocket 3 and that is mainly due to its full frame being made of aluminium or aluminium if you're an American follower. It also has a cast aluminium single sided swing arm, again just to help it with that weight. And the weight of this brute dry, Triumph claims it's 291 kilograms. It's wet weight, I do believe is in the region of 330 kilograms so even though she is a a bit skinnier than a predecessor she's still a bit chunky i think it misinterpreted the slim fast diet so moving on to the suspension of this bike front suspension and rear suspension a shower at the front, you've got Showa 47mm upside down forks. And you can adjust the compression along with the rebound. If we fly around to the rear suspension that's hidden nicely, you do find a fully adjustable Showa shock. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you what it looks like to sit on this bike. Now, when it was first dropped off, I hadn't done my research and looked into seat heights and I thought it was going to be, you know, quite a big, heavy lump, but also quite tall. So I was a little bit, not nervous, but it was just at the forefront of my mind that it might not be the easiest thing to paddle around. 
However, since getting the bike delivered, sitting on the bike, it's really surprised me. It's actually very low. So the seat height of this bike is 773 mil, which is very accessible. So I'll show you what it's like just to sit on it. So with this bike being 773 mil, it is relatively low and I can get the balls of my feet down. However, it does have quite a wide seat. If it was narrower, my feet would be more flat. But because it is such a wide seat, I kind of am on my tiptoes, but I don't feel out of control. I feel comfortable, I feel confident. If I put my feet up. The riding position seems very nice. So you've got very wide bars. I am leant forward a little bit, but maybe someone that's a bit taller, you know, and kind of fills the back of the seat wouldn't feel so stretch forward. So yeah, when I have to come to a stop, I don't feel uncomfortable. I don't feel like it's hard work. And then getting off the bike, Stand down, leg over, lots of clearance there. No fear that I'm going to boot anything or clout the seat cowl. So yeah, it is quite an accessible size and suits me down to the ground. Okay, what is this bike like to move around? Now, 330 kilograms wet is quite a weight. So we'll just see what it's like, just to push it backwards and forwards. Push it backwards. It's not too bad. Just bring it forward a bit for the camera. I have to say, if I was doing some proper intricate moving around, I'd probably just get on it, run it, put it in gear, and just move it around, you know, paddling with my feet. But it's not really that bad to push around. So one of the things that you really have to think about before committing to buying a bike is the cost of ownership. Now, this Triumph Rocket 3R does have really long service intervals of 10,000 miles, or you'd have to get it serviced annually, depending on kind of what you hit first. Now, it'd probably be quite rare for somebody to do 10,000 miles in a year on this bike. I'm not saying it can't be done, of course it can, but I think people will probably have to have an annual service, which I'd highly recommend getting done at a Triumph dealership. And the reason for that is it keeps your warranty active and there's a lot to be said about a warranty on a new bike. It's just peace of mind. Something else to factor in and think about is the cost of tyres on this thing. So it might be worth having a look online, seeing how much Avon Cobras are, because I can imagine a 240 rear is gonna be quite an expensive tyre to get hold of. So it's worth looking into that as well. And finally, you have to factor in insurance. Now, as you guys may know, my channel sponsor, is Bikeshare. They're an insurance broker and they provide a five-star rated service. I've got in touch with the guys at Bikeshare and asked how much it would cost to get me out on the road on a Rocket 3R. Now, I was expecting it to be extortionate, I won't lie, purely because you've got 165 brake horsepower, 221 newton meters of torque, and it's a £20,800 bike, so it's not cheap. So I was really surprised when Bikeshare came back with the quote that for me, a 30-year-old woman from Bolton with maximum no claims discount could insure this bike and have it on the road for, are you ready? £396, fully comprehensive, including £100,000 worth of legal cover, should I be unfortunate enough to need it. Now, I think that is crazy. £396 to insure me on that. Don't mind if I do. What I would say is if you guys want to get a quote from Bikeshare, the best way to do it is to give the guys a call direct. That is how you will squeeze the very best price out of them. 
You could even try quoting username Kate when you're on the phone to somebody. I have heard that it does work for people to get a little bit more off, so I'll give that a go. What I'll do is I will put the phone number for Bikeshare in my video description, as well as a link to the website, so if you guys want to check that out, you're more than welcome. Okay guys, hopefully you found this walk around video insightful. Thank you guys for tuning in, for watching this walk around video on the Triumph Rocket 3R. If you guys could like this video, maybe drop a comment, maybe even share it and subscribe, it will do my channel the world of good. So I really appreciate it if you do those things. If you also want to support me on Patreon, there's no obligation. You can still watch my videos on YouTube for free. However, all my patrons that do subscribe, thank you guys so much. It really, really does help my channel greatly. So I do appreciate it. Okay, well, I'm gonna ride this bike back home. It's a little bit windy, as you can probably tell in this video, which isn't ideal. But yeah, I just can't wait to hop on it. I'm sick of talking, let me ride it. Until the next time, guys, stay safe, ride safe, look after each other. See you later. beautiful hello love hello hello guys I'm so sorry about how windy it is today it is absolutely ridiculous <laughs> however let's be a professional about this so I've just realized I've got a bobble but I look like a boy We got a family coming out. Oh, it's so cold. Where did you get that from? Uh, okay. Ah, right. I only asked because I used to work at Williams in Manchester, That's so. Cold, isn't it? Have you? Uh, three of the German ones on this. How do you find it? Better. Better. But it's more refined, isn't it? It's not just that, it's a completely different uh, 